Right, so here we are in Maya. And in this step, what we're going to do is just have a look at how uh, the height map works before we go on to sort of finalize it. So what I'm going to apply it to is making sure I'm on my polygon shelf. I'm going to get a polygon plane. Here he is. I'm just going to ping him in the center of the grid and I'm going to center it like so. And then on the, the inputs polyplane one, I'm going to set the width and height and I want it to be 100 by 100, which is fine for this. And then I'm going to press the A key so that I can see it. There we go. And now this next step is very important. Um, I'm going to add some subdivisions. And without these subdivisions, nothing will happen when we apply the height map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 40 subdivisions on the width and height. So you can see that now. Subdivides that up into neat little squares. Lovely. But what I'm also going to do, uh, I'm just going to move this off to the side, like so. I'm going to go minus 60, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine. No, well, what am I on with? Minus 110. Like that. So I've got that one over there. I'm just going to create a second one, um, just so you can sort of compare um, the results. I'll center this one as well. And width and height again, 100. So you can see there they are side by side. But the subdivisions on this one, I'm going to go 200 by 200. And you can see the mesh on this one is much more dense than that one. And that's really going to affect the level of detail we get out of the height map. Okay, so I'm first of all going to apply the height map to this one. Okay, so double click on the Sculpt Geometry tool. And that opens up the Sculpt Geometry tool settings. I'm just going to open that up a smidge. Okay, so what we need to do is um, we're going to set the operation to pull because we want it to pull the geometry up and then the max displacement this will vary depending on how big your object is but I know that I've made this a hundred um, wide and a hundred deep so what I'm gonna do is I want it to raise up about 10% of that height so I know that my max displacement wants to be about 10 and you can edit that afterwards anyway but it helps to get a, a good idea first so I've got that set up and then this is the bit where you add the height map to it. So you click on attribute maps, click on import, and then there's a little button for import there. And then I can see my terrain height map .tga. I'm going to click on that and there's my preview. And if I open that, you can now see that that creates the geometry for me. So that now looks kind of um, mountainous and lovely. Uh, so already I've created some terrain nice and quickly. What I'll also do though is I'll just apply the same height map to this so you can get an idea of how um, the number of subdivisions affects the level of detail you get. So click on import again, same height map, open, and then I'm just going to deselect. Uh, and there you should be able to see quite a big difference in the detail. Um, this one really looks quite smooth and a little bit rubbish. This one actually looks quite nice, doesn't it? Um, really rocky, um, beautiful you might say. But I would use this one because um, if you think that this is just your terrain and this has got, I don't know, what's 200 times 200? Like 400,000 polygons on it. That's a, a big waste. So um, I would go with this and then I would bake a normal map from this onto this to get the additional detail in that way, which I may or may not add as an additional step, we shall see. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to leave that there for this step. We've seen that the height map works, but at the moment we've not really got any playable areas. You'd have to be running all over mountains and stuff to get around. So in the next step, we're going to go back into uh, Photoshop and we're going to use the paintbrush tools just to add some playable areas of the map. Uh, and that will be our final height map that we'll use. So I will see you in the next step for all that excitement uh, that that will bring. Yeah.